They said, look, Coach, we, everybody's behind you, you know, but um, I want to correct it up and make sure I'm not say verbatim so I don't look bad. <laughs> um, they said, you know, you, you started so well, and I think everybody's expectations were a little too high. And I just kept thinking, and, um, and they said, so, you know, it's a good season, and let, let's just finish up, and uh, it's a good season. I could sense in their thinking that in their minds it was over, in our minds, it was just beginning, because March is what it's all about in college basketball. And what we told the guys is, you, you got to play your best basketball going into March. And we knew we had seven now, I think, six or seven elimination games. Seven. And these guys are roasted occasion on all seven. They knew if they lost to Creighton, lost to Butler, lost to DePaul, uh, lost to Georgetown, it could be over. So. Uh, we decided to change our whole offensive scheme in terms of pace in three days because we felt Seton Hall was better from a top of the key to backboard uh, game. We knew we had, a, we had our rebound then. We knew we had to get in the gaps like they do because they're really an outstanding basketball team. And we thought that they would play their guys a lot of minutes. And I told our guys, we're going to substitute right away with five new, just run the floor, run the floor, run the floor. And they did a beautiful job. So I'm real proud of them, I'm real happy for St. John's. Uh, they're a terrific team. We beat an outstanding team tonight, and we scored 91 points, which leads to what we want to do. So I'm real proud of them. Uh, big fella here really did an outstanding job. Uh, RJ's been getting better and better. Now he's practicing for the first time every day. So uh, that's really, really good. So Joel told him it's, it's about time to stop practicing. <laughs> All right, we're going to start first here on the left side. You're going to be good in the first round. Yeah. Uh, like Joel, you played in this quarterfinal twice before with St. John's. Obviously, you had big leads and you couldn't close. What's it like to, to win this game and get to Friday night? St. John's hasn't played Friday night in this tournament since 2000. And, you know, you, I remember talking to you last year after that. It's such a tough loss to that. What does it feel like right now? Uh, well, it feels amazing. I mean, we knew, t we knew today it was going to be a hard fall game. We knew that. We wanted to beat this team and we had to play our style of basketball and not and play a full 40 minutes. So uh, I just kept telling the guys when we got the lead to keep their foot on their neck, stay locked in. And I mean, it, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling, man, to be able to play on Friday night. Everybody that I've known from St. John's and coaches, Coach P even said, he said, playing Friday night in the Master Square Garden, there's no other feeling like it. There's no other tournament bigger than the Big East tournament. So, just blessed, thank God. Oh, we got lucky draw, easy game. <laughs> In the middles, Pat, go ahead. Yeah. Rick, do you have any idea what your deflection total was, especially in the second half? It looked like you really... Yeah, we were, we were close to 30, but it was key moments. And, and that's what they did to us, Pat, in two games. They were the ones in the gaps making the steals. So uh, guys were really, really locked in. The beginning of the game, they made some threes. And I, all I kept saying is pace. Pace, pace, and I believe Dawes played all 20 minutes. I think Davis, who's been on a great run, played 19-20. So we felt if we could sub, the pace would be great. Dana, down on the right side. Rick, when you, the administration talked to you, as you said, said, why did you think differently? What did you see in this team that, that you thought there could be a turnaround? Well, it's not necessarily what I thought at that moment. I, I just said that there's so many games we played. I remember one time I was at Louisville, Looked like we were down and out. We had a beat Pitt on the road, another great road game, and we won, I think, seven out of nine, seven out of ten games to, to make it. It's just never over as you keep getting better, keep improving. And we were playing really good basketball. We were losing to outstanding teams by one, two, three, all close games. So, you know, it's I wasn't – I told the guys, you know, March is what it's all about. Going into March in the last two weeks of the season, if you get better – then you're going to be a March team. And they kept getting better. And it's a credit to them. Over here on the left. Coach, um, Naheem Aline played amazing today. Do you think that he was kind of your secret weapon because he's played in the tournament before and kind of understood the pacing and the atmosphere? 
Well, he had zero turnovers, two assists, five for five, three for three for three. So I think he, I think you're right on that. I think he, he's a veteran basketball player. We needed him. But I thought all the guys made great plays tonight. You know, it's very difficult for us to play without DJ. But Nan Jordan did a fabulous job. And we've got a third point guard, and that's RJ. RJ's like, you know, RJ's a man. He plays power forward for us. He plays the wings. RJ can play all four positions. And it's not easy to do, and he does it very well. In the back. Go ahead. Uh, RJ, this one's for you. You had two plays in the first half. Uh, you got the steal and the layup, and then the buzzer beater, obviously, before halftime. What was that like when you felt the fans come to their feet in those moments there? Uh, I mean, it was an amazing feeling. You know, I just give everything to God, you know, for allowing me to have a positive mindset mindset going throughout the season, you know, Coach P, you know, believe in him, even though I was only, you know, practicing once a week, basically, but it, it felt great. It was, it was nice to get a buzzer beater. I don't think I've, I've done that in college yet, so that was, that was amazing. Uh, it was just, it was just, wow, it was just very surreal. The, the crowd, the atmosphere, the energy, uh, credit to Senior Hall, they played really hard, but we had to get them back. They couldn't let them sweep us, so it felt good. Down in front, Kevin. Rick, when has when did RJ's practice regimen change? Uh, just just this week. Okay. You know, just this week. He came to me and said, "I said, Coach, this is the important time. This is March, and I, I need to practice." I said, well, "How you feeling?" He said, it "Doesn't matter. I need to practice." So he's uh, he's a special talent. The big fella here was great tonight. You know, he, he's he's great because you know the style of play we tried to play tonight is not exactly the way he can play, but he did it. He's sprinting up and down the court. Uh, he got in a low post, made good decisions. Um, if he plays like that going forward, we're going to be tough to beat. Second round, Mark. For Joel and, and Rick, and obviously you've got at least one more game here this weekend, but uh, you think you've done enough at this point to hear your name on from Sunday? We're, we're trying to win the Big East title. You know, we, 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 we know Connecticut's a great team. We know they're one of the best teams in the country. This. I can tell you from being at Iona, the second unit is never as good as the first unit. But we know that. But certainly we've had a great year. We're a hot team. Um, that would be something you would answer. We're going to try to win this Big East crowd. <coughs> Follow up what Mark said. We, don't, we already said obviously you want to win the Big East. But does this make Sunday 6 p.m. a little more pleasant thing to look forward to than uh, ordinarily? It's going to you know, be on your mind, I assume. I, I, I will tell you what I've told them for, what, seven games now? I told them. This elimination game, guys. You go to DePaul, they'll know found out last night. You go to Butler, you don't win. You come home, join, you don't win. It's over. But you won today, so that makes it yeah, a difference. Yeah, but we won all seven games. Right. Yeah. So they've had well, that feeling all the games and they. But this should make Sunday night a lot more pleasant well, than it would have been. I guess it it speaks volumes of what they think of pressure. Okay. You know, they they look at pressure as a great thing. It should be. You know, so. All right, Roger. Hey, uh, question from both of the players. When you guys were like looking around in the locker room before the game, did, did you guys see anything that indicated to you in your teammates that you were going to get a performance like the one you got today? As in what, as like the crowd of saints? Or just like the no, like one you yourself. Just, with, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, nah, I think, I mean, to be honest, this whole week in practice, like we, we've been very locked in. Not to say that we haven't been all season, but like um, guys know what was at stake. Like Coach said, with pressure, like we we knew that if we didn't come out here and win this game, then we wouldn't be hearing anything on Sunday. We'd be going home. So um, I think a lot of guys, we just we just bought into what we needed to do. We we found certain certain things that they do that they do well. We try to exploit them. Um, they're a great team, a well, very well coached team. We just try to come out here and play our style of basketball. Um, this tournament is amazing, man. It gives you gives you a different type of feeling playing here. All the greats that played here, how many times we've coached here, like. This tournament is, is the best tournament in the United States. So um, we just try to come out here and play off of our style of basketball. What did you think, RJ? What did you see in your teammate? I think that was a great answer. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'll say the same thing. You know, guys are really locked in. You know, having six seniors, you know, nobody wants to, you know, end the season on a bad note. I feel like, you know, want to keep the season alive. So it was just really just, you know, just coming together, sticking it out, you know. Coach P said, you know, seven games, just not letting the pressure get to us and just looking on to the next game. All right, we're doing two more down there in the right. Uh, Rick, with uh, 
With you having six players score in double figures today, over this win streak, you guys have had different contributors kind of stepping up. To have all of them do it at once today, just what does that kind of show about the progress this team's made and where they're at now? Well, we had three tough practices. And the message I had to them, I gave them two messages. I said, this time of year, some teams get really, really tight and they rely on a half court basketball. And I said, I want you to do the opposite. I want you to go out and try to score 100 points tonight. I want you to play racehorse basketball, get a high number of assists, and get in the gaps and play them. But we've got to play a different style come March. It's got to be racehorse basketball because I feel that takes the pressure off teams. When you're in the open court and you're running, and, and you, you're having to move the ball, pass the ball, and cut. You're not overthinking in the half court. And we did that tonight. We uh, gave him two messages. Pace, we're going to sub right away. And then the second thing I put, I just put on the board, I said, we got dinner right away. Then we got the Connecticut film. And then we're bringing you back for more Connecticut film. And then we're bringing you back at 1 o'clock for Connecticut film. Last <laughs> <laughs> question. Well, um, Obviously, I'm sure your last season is probably not downward today. Probably best game in a while. What was what worked for you today? And how did it feel to play the winner today? I'll try to look at that, man. I mean, I, I came into this game and I knew that my team needed me, and I was going to do whatever I had to do to get the win. So. I mean, my performance is my performance. I wasn't really too, like, crazy. I know I had to come in and play. I had to dominate my position. I mean, I think that Yako, the last three times we played, we played him, he dominated me on offensive glass, blocking shots, re, um, uh, doing every little thing for the team. So I just try to be the better matchup of my position today. So um, that's what I'm going to try to do tomorrow. St. John's, thank you. Thanks, guys. You don't sleep. Thanks, guys. Green Corey, please. Thanks.